All right, what's going on, you bunch of goobers? We're here in End Zone, a world apart, otherwise known as a world post COVID 19, or even better, a world post Malone. Now, I've been sent off a key by the developer, so thank you, developers, in advance for this lovely, lovely game. I played a little bit of it just to kind of get my feel for it, but it's a very interesting, interesting game about scavenging, survival, and what life would possibly be like if you guys don't stay the hell home. So we have ourselves here a lovely starting area with a school bus, a bus wreck, if you will. That's where our fine, fine people have been spending their entire goddamn lives. So what better than now to make their lives a little bit better by making their lives better. That makes sense, right? Right. Hope so. So we've advanced our town just a smidgen pigeon. Now we have housing fields full of squash. That's what it is. I thought it was, thought it was friggin' pumpkins. I, I legitimately thought it was pumpkins by looking at that squash, gourds, goromans, whatever the hell they're called. Gorgons. I'm harvesting some freaking gorgons here. Some, I got some nice gorgonzolas. If anybody would like some, we'll just shove that right there. And hopefully they come back with some freaking food. God, I hope. God, I, God, I freaking hope. Otherwise, we're all gonna die because the game can't do its job. Wonderful, now we have kind of streets everywhere. I am so going to friggin' die from the severe lack of food. Oh, good. Here we go. Okay, we got some we got some food going. And thus, our settlement progresses even more with the addition of yet a tailor shop and a recycler. Good old recycler. Now, logistically speaking, I should probably get an expedition station going somewhere. And honestly, I need to get a whole shitload of things to be completely friggin' honest with you. Okay, so how many do I have? I have like six. That'll be fine for the time being. I can't add more to you though. Damn it. Ugh. All right, that's fine. So what I could do is do metal. I think the next thing on my cooking block for expanding the settlement is going to be this hunky dory thing right here. The expedition station. And the Expedi Expedition Station allows me to go to, say, these depots or something along the lines of, like, maybe there's something in this town I could look at. Usually they have little question marks over them. Right now, I don't seem to see any. See any. But there's a lot of, a lot of crap everywhere, so it's possible I might just be missing it. I have no idea. But it's totally, totally feasible. Unfortunately, our colony has seemed to have s snagged, snagged a little bit, just a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. I need two more fishers if we're going to keep this colony up and friggin operational. I have no, no neck scarves, so that's heavily problematic because all my people are going to start friggin dying now of uh, the poison. I need them to build this this very instant very low on uh, storage space so my life's gonna be a real friggin uncomfortable real fast if I don't get this shit up and operational here how's this going oh three more people yay ah yeah 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 what a pain we'll get it next time don't worry it'll be okay I hope Oh god, I hope to god. You are somehow out of crap again. I don't even understand these people. I don't. This is what happens, guys. This is... This is what freaking happens. When you just don't... Stay inside. <laughs> you don't make any goddamn sense and people start dying. Oh shit, people are dying. Unhappy settler. Uh, probably because people are dying. Because my stupid ass forgot to build the most important goddamn thing in the world. A graveyard. Scrap tools just start tooling everyone. Please for everything. Okay, somebody please build the cemetery for the love of God. I need two morticians. Thank you for your kind patronage, settlers. My God. Everybody's work is like five bajillion times friggin' slower now. This is... Not good, not good, not good. It'll be fine. I promise it'll be fine. 
You are just needy over there with the tailor shop. Jesus. What are you possibly mad about? That you're infertile? I can't do anything about that, dude. I really can't. Do we have no cloth? Great. So good. So freaking good that I have no cloth and, like, no water. It's good. It's good. Can I stop people from coming in? Is that a thing I can do? Can I just start killing people off? Oh, shit. We are uh, out of water. Shit. We're gonna be... We're gonna get this on the skin of our goddamn teeth, I swear to God. And then another five water carriers. Thirsty settlers. I'm aware they're thirsty. Fully aware they're goddamn thirsty. So let's do something about it then before we hit a drought in... Today. Preferably. It's wet, so that's great. Did anyone ever come back from that? So I could look at this. Another expedition's on its way. God damn it. Oh, I need full, like, friggin' everything. Jesus. This is gonna be terrible if I can't get this water going. Mm, people are gonna start dying. Oh, hey, look, people are dying. Shit. Well, as long as people die off, I think that'll be okay. Because if people die off, then... I think we should be in the clear. <laughs> yeah, I think doing that actually helped a lot. Jesus. All right. Wow. We uh, we nearly faced extinction because we ran out of water. And now I have like no cloth. Why do I have no cloth? <sighs> Stockpile water and food because it's going to get freaking dry out. Awesome. I'm trying my very damnedest to do this right now. Yes, settlers have no protect protective clothing either. I'm aware. I'm fully, fully aware. Yes, building consumes freaking radiated everything. I'm fully aware of this. Medical, charcoal burner. We'll use all these guys yet, I swear to God. Herbalists. And just like that, I'm gonna... Oh, Jesus Christ. Well... Yeah. Totally gonna die. Unless season 23 kicks in. And it starts freaking raining. Am I gonna luck out again? Oh god, I might luck out again. With the water. If it starts pouring. They will literally be fine. It is okay. <laughs> However, I need these tailors to like freaking speed up. I can only make cloth so fast. Plastic. Who the hell needs plastic still? Do you need plastic? You need plastic. Dude. Where the hell's the charcoal burner? There you are. Uh, I think we're good. Oh, more homeless. Shit. Why are there more homeless now? Oh, crap. What have I done? Oh, God. Oh, Jeebus. Cabins. What the hell is happening? Why are all my people sick all of a sudden? What is this? Oh, shit. And I have no one creating circuits. Son of a bitch. Shit. What's my medic medicine look like? Oh, zero! Nice! And just like that, we're freaking gonna die. Shit. Well, and just like that, COVID-19 has broken out yet again in my post-death. <laughs> oh god, why is there so much freaking radiation? Oh my god, <laughs> why is there so much freaking radiation? Jesus Christ. I didn't ask for this. Oh, highly contaminated rain. Oh Jesus. Oh my god, everyone has radiation poisoning. Oh, shit. Well, that's problematic. That's super problematic. Is this graveyard full? Nope. But it's currently burying a shitload of people, so that's a plus. Maybe if everybody dies, we'll be... <laughs> we'll be in the clear. 
Oh my god, this is friggin' terrible. <laughs> but honestly, friggin' hilarious. Can we get people over here to build this? Please? I have the electronics. Please just build it. So I can get medical everything going on right now. Instead of using all my shit, we'll actually make medicine. Jesus Christ. I have a hundred medicine. Come the hell here, all of you. Why are we Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, yep, oh, Jesus! Holy shit, what the hell is that? What in Battle Royale hell just happened? Stop getting sick, all of you. This is absurd. This is absolutely absurd. And you gang, this has been Endzone. Thanks again for the devs for sending me off a key. I clearly am not capable of running a successful colony. Everyone got sick of coronavirus somehow. So, pfft. There's that. Anywho, bye guys.